Assalamu alaikum. Today we would be studying about different ICs uh, and they function on PCM. Uh, Proteus and they function on Proteus. We would be simulating different function, different ICs and we would be first of all making them on schematic or pure protein schematic that is implemented on uh, proteins we would be seeing the results of the logic and how do they work so first of all uh, what we would be doing after opening this window over here uh, by going on proteins right clicking and um, proteins uh, app and clicking on run to the as an administrator if you do not have library already installed if you have library if you don't have a library issues just click on open and um, a screen would be open that would ask you how to if you want to open some new project or or one or different kind of, uh, different kind of um, information is would also be given displayed there you need to go on uh, open uh, a new file if you haven't made it yet or uh, new open file if you want to make a new one or uh, oh, sorry if you want to open the previous one so after the, the file will be open this uh, a screen will be open i have selected a3 size paper and uh, instead of default in default you do not have these borders and this PCP log here, uh, information table that would data table here. Um, at this point, this would be empty. I have already installed a few of the uh, devices here. If you want to include the devices, you simply go to P uh, and you type like um, LED. Be careful about the spellings using used while using. Uh, Proteus uh, library because uh, it will not give you any kind of display if the words are uh, not correct. So I just click it and you double click and you see it is already placed here. Or simply go on OK. Better. Um, while we are doing this, uh, you can also be check that if there is a schematic model or not. Uh, if, uh, if if you uh, see over here, it is written schematic because uh, this is really important to know that if it is schematic or not. Because if it is non schematic on the diagram uh, picture, then it would not be giving us a results, and that is not what we require. And, uh, and if you're making it on PCB. Do check over here to know that it hasn't a PCB, a PCB layout or, or not. If um, I in the previous one I talked about that non-schematic uh, diagram or picture component. So I'll be showing you one of them is our XOR gate. Uh, this XOR gate, uh, if you see over here, we just simply typed its pin number and it is present here. But if you look at above it, like here, you can see that it is non stimulated. Non stimulated. I should also be clicking this so that I could show you the result. Uh, or if you do, if you do, if you press this, you will not be giving the stimulation result. So if you come down here, um one more time here look now you can see that it is written schematic now this tells that it has it will show the results neither even just result we can also see that it has a pcb print out so as i got my already got my components i just press ok and now the components are present over here first of all i would be going for a not gate not gate has I see 7404. So, first of all, I will be placing a not gate. And then I'll be going with a blue, green color LED. 
then resist and right clicking it and pressing it clockwise oh okay i forgot a push button so i'll just simply go on right here and go to push button if you would be doing it on um, piece if you want to make it pcb layout so when you will type piece push button uh, and you'll see a here so it will not be giving any kind of outcome so to just uh, remind that we would be uh, to make pcb uh, printout we would be can typing connectors now as you all can see we have variety of connectors over here but um, the one we we want to use and we would be using in it would be this one this is a two base connector uh, as you can see i have already placed it so i'll simply press ok and it will end up now i would be then uh, back to the circuit i would be okay i still forgot the push button so i'll be simply going back push button if you're um using um the uh, this uh In Proteus the library you must be knowing um, the spellings and spacing right because it, as you can see that when I was placing it before it would not be giving any, any result but simply when I sp press the space bar and push the, uh, push, now it is push button you can simply get the result okay so I got it here okay I place the push button try to manage it and make it as simple and as neat as it can because usually the circuits sometimes are really very uh, like hectic and needed a lot of components and due to that it results in such a bad type of uh, circuit formation that um that is really complex for even any engineer to understand so your circuits should be so much simpler so that anybody who uh, does not know what is happening in your circuit should be able to read it okay now you simply connected it now it'll be needing power or you can see you can take battery or you can uh, first i'll give it power or you can also go here and you can connect the dc source that can also be used or you can simply go to the components bar and type the battery V T T V A T T E E E R the battery over here we have dc or ac so i would be connecting dc but i do not know need it right now i've already connected the power so i'll play it and as the circuit is on so it is not giving me that so i will just check out the what is the problem in the circuit I will be changing it to 100. Okay. Okay. Now it's giving me the results. So, as you can see, that it was the reason that the resistance value was too high for even that power to pass out. So, the circuit wasn't working. But now, as uh, the resistance power value is corrected, we have now the working circuit. So, uh, if we close the circuit as not it is not gate it will opposite all the cells reactions it is an a bar circuit so when a, a would be positive uh, not gate would be negative and when a would be negative uh, uh, the result will be not gate will be positive if you want to uh, know the result uh, know what i mean you want to know what i mean so if you see over here like when the logic is low not gate converts into high okay now we would be now after this uh we would be doing okay just okay uh you can just do something around here you just remove instead of this uh, okay now i would be making um, 
an ant hit circuit, you simply press down it, press this. Okay. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm literally sorry for this. Um, you just simply go. No. Now, as it is gone, so I would be selecting this, uh, pressing it with this. Then I'll have um, another push button present here. Another push button will be placed here. Then I'll be selecting this, this, and okay, I'll be pressing here. Now I would go for the resistors. I'll place another resistor here and versus it pump clockwise. You see ahead that once I made a circuit, I'll, I'll just be able to change the logic gates and would be able to give a very nice, uh, a very quick uh, outputs and inputs. Just I once the circuit is changed, I just need to change the uh, gate and results will be there. Now, as I've already told you that the power is low, so we would be using low resistors. Okay, so this is an AND gate. I'll simply go to play. Okay. So in an AND gate to treble, it is A dot B. If both are zero, the result would be zero. If both are on, the result will be positive. And if any one is on, the result would be negative or low, uh, low uh, input, which will result in the off of the uh, LED. So, if you want to change the LED, like you do not like the color or something, you can simply go to the color LED that you like and You can just go like this and you can just replace it. Yes, replace. Now if you open it and you just you can see it has changed. Now if you if I done uh, of and gate I would be going for or gate which I see number is uh, seven four three two. I'll be selecting it as here bring it get here and I'll simply go and replace yes replace so here we have an AND gate second R now if we play the button if both are on then OR gate uh, equation is E plus B so E is 0 and B is 0 so result would be uh, A is positive 1 and 0 is 1 so the result is 1 if any one of them is open either this or uh, this the result would be one that is uh, confirmed for her here if both are open this will result in the off button of it and because e zero plus b zero so is equal to zero now i would be going for an nine kit this this is whose ic number is seven four zero zero I'll simply go on above it and press the replace button. Okay. So now I have NAND gate representation. NAND gate has an equation of uh, not of AND gate. That is A dot B bar, whole bar. I'll be pressing it for play button. Now if you know that AND gate has, if both are zero, that AND gate would be negative uh, or uh, zero. But in or in NAND gate, it would be positive. If both are zero, then the result would be positive. If one is uh, positive, negative, one is open, or one is uh, closed, so it will result in uh, the positive of the, or the open uh, uh, the circuit as working with high logic. If both are open, this would result in the Low of the uh, low result over uh, low logic over here, and it will result in the off of the bad switch. Uh, now I would be doing X or X and sorry, 
now we're doing nor gate so nor gate has an ic of uh, um nor gate would be having an ic of a is not it ic yes 7402 now i'll simply go here we'll paste it here replace it yes and we have an x uh no sorry a not nor gate ic so we would simply press ok to play button um now as you know for or gate or gate uh, is a plus b and not a uh, nor gate is not of or gate that is a plus b whole bar so in this if both uh, are open the result of the nor gate would be zero because in or gate both ic's if both the inputs are positive then the result of uh, the ic of or gate would be positive so in nor gate it is negative if any one is positive the result would be negative as in or gate it is positive then if both are on this result in the open of the led which is uh, which says that that high logic is given okay now i would be getting from x or gate acha First of all, I will be showing you that what would happen if you place that non-schematic one XOR gate. If you place that non-schematic non, uh, one XOR gate here, look, it is placed over here. It will have the, uh, you will just see that it is okay, fine. But as soon as you press proper present, it will show you that no model simulation or the schematic failed. This is the reason why we selected the uh, the next one that had a simulation one xr i'll simply replacing it and now when i play it you can see that its result is implementing so uh, yes you can see if any one is present then xr gate is open if both are off it will be uh, both are on it would be representing into the low logic if both are open it will still represent a low logic that uh, explains xor gate um sometimes they they happen that if you uh, if the hair or anywhere else as uh, have these points there is present a gray color logic the gray color logic is indefined logic and due to that uh, due to to remove it you place the resistor over there so now we would be going to the last circuit that is x or gate x nor gate now uh, usually uh, it's um, uh, it's an ic symbol is 7427 uh, 7427 7, but um, uh, the better one that would that was having schematic one the, that i choose was 4077 ic number and it is the same one so i'll just simply go to positive and as you can see it is if both the logic are same then the result of this gate would be positive or high logic if any one is negative or uh, uh, giving low logic or high logic if any one is the different one so it would result in the of uh, the low logic but as soon as if both are open the result will be positive so i hope you every uh, thing of this circuits are cleared and explained well so and if any of you further queries you can check out my youtube channel so this would be it for today and uh, these are the logic keys that are used mostly in and all around the uh, globe for the multiple purposes and uh, the reason for these are really extensive of their use and uh, their characteristics and ability to do work so thank you very much and jazakallah khudafis